Punters who waded into short price favourites today at Fairy House have Desi Hughes to blame for their misfortune. During the course of the afternoon, a 4 to 1 on shot and a 10 to 9 on shot were both turned over by Hughes trained runners. His first was Art of Logistics, who got the better of Warheb in the opener a two mile hurdle. The five year old in the red and green colours won a down royal maiden in November before finishing third to the exceptionally talented Una 2 last time. Winning jockey Brian Cooper said he's still a big baby, but there's a lot more to come from him. His next target is a novice race at the Easter Festival. At the last, Art of Logistics, Midnight Oil, Wahab on the inside, they fight it out. 150 yards to race, Art of Logistics, Midnight Oil challenging stand side, they go on from Wahab. Less than 100 yards to race, and Art of Logistics and Brian Cooper will win the opener. Wins it well by two lengths from Midnight Oil second, Wahab. The second odds on of the day to be turned over was the Willie Mullins train sizing Chile by Apache Jack. The winner in the yellow and blue is a half-brother to Blackjack Ketchum and was reverting back to a bumper from a hurdle race in which he finished third last time. My lady Apache Jack has come through in the centre to lead from Waylander, sizing Chile third, a break to Limerick, you my lady. 100 yards to race, Apache Jack leads from Waylander, sizing Chile, staying on again, stand side. As they go to the line, Apache Jack will complete a double for Desi Hughes, sizing Chile up for second. Meanwhile at Lingfield, Venetia Williams looks to have another smart type on her hands as Emperor's Choice ran out a ready winner of the National. The 9-4 favourite in the blue and white colours travelled like a dream throughout and asserted well in the final stages. He will head to the Cheltenham Festival for the four miler. Here's the final fence for Emperor's Choice. Gets over ahead by two and a half lengths. Over Big Occasion who's trying hard to chase him down on the run in. Back in third is Musia Kadu. It's not quite over yet. They've got 200 yards to run. Emperor's Choice is about two and a half lengths ahead of Big Occasion who's trying hard to finish under this stands rail. But it's Emperor's Choice who shows the way here. Getting a bit tired but has done enough. And Emperor's Choice is the Surrey National winner. From in second Big Occasion who chased him all the way to the line in a cracking good Finish. Jockey Tom O'Brien scored a double on the day, his first aboard the highly regarded Irish Buccaneer in the two mile maiden hurdle, but he was made to work for it by Lightwell, who ran a cracker in second. The winner was acquired by JP McManus following his bumper win in April and was improving on his last two efforts over hurdles when placed at Leicester and Exeter. Lord heading towards the final flight. The first two in the market are really going to have the race between themselves. Irish Buccaneer is now shaken up in the white cap over to the inside of Lightwell, who looks more than a match for him. Over the final flight, not a great deal in it. Over towards the inside is Irish Buccaneer. Tom O'Brien having to get fairly vigorous aboard. The leader in second position is Lightwell. Up to the line they go inside the final 100 yards. He will justify short odds, but it didn't look too easy. Irish Buccaneer is off the mark. Over and finally, Kalanas gave David Pipe and Midland Park a winner on the day when staying on well to win the handicap hurdle over two miles and seven furlongs. The six-year-old Gray disappointed last time when finishing fifth three weeks ago, but plugged on gamely under amateur jockey Michael Hurd. Bender over the last flight, three of them in unison. Kalinas comes away from the flight with just a narrow advantage over promised wings in second. Rocky Bender a length and a half to find back in third. Hard work here. Kalinas is showing the way over promised wings, who's pursuing him all the way to the line, but he won't get back on terms. And Kalinas for David Pipe under Michael Hurd scores back in second place. Promised wings across the line in third. Rocky Bender. They...